Welcome to the Bulmost School. I'm Mr Chandler and I will be your head of year throughout your time at school. The team and I are absolutely delighted that you have chosen the Bulmost School for such an important step in your school journey and we're all thoroughly looking forward to meeting you. We have a fantastic team at the Bulmost School to support you throughout your time here, which includes your form tutor who will be your daily contact and first point of call. Miss Lamana will be your dedicated engagement manager who's always available to support you. Myself is your head of year and our wider support network helping you with any academic, personal or mental health needs. We're well aware that for your first day, it will be a mix of excitement and nervousness, but we'll be here for you from the beginning with our supportive community. My expectations are that you show us the best version of yourself, including smart uniform, manners and a can-do attitude. We want you to subscribe to our core values of respect, resilience, responsibility and safety at all times. We will explore these later as I would now like to take you on a tour of the school. Here we are outside the school. This is the main reception area and the daily student entrance is through the gate on the left hand side. Once we go through the automatic doors, we're in the main reception area. If your parents or carers wish to come to the school for any reason whatsoever, this is where they'll be able to speak to a receptionist. As we go into the main building on the left hand side is Mrs Woodfin's office, who is the head teacher of the Bulmersh School. Continuing round is the entrance to the auditorium, which is where you will have your weekly assembly on a Monday morning. Every morning, you will enter the school through the gate next to reception. If you are riding a bike, you'll need to dismount and walk your bikes to the bike sheds. You'll be greeted by a member of staff every day. On the right is student reception, run by Mrs Davies, who will always greet you with a smile. She can help you when you're lost or if you've misplaced any of your belongings amongst a range of other different things. This area is where you'll line up for assembly each week. On the right hand side is the school shop where you can purchase equipment and some items of uniform. As we go round the corner, you will see the bike sheds, which is where you'll be able to store your bikes. It is locked between 8.30am and 3pm. For security purposes, there are CCTV cameras, but please bring your own lock. Next, we have the signal building, where our dedicated student support is available. We begin with our learning mentors, who provide mentoring for individuals and small groups. As you go down the stairs is the Oasis Centre, where our learning support team are based. They will help students with literacy and numeracy needs, and there is a homework club running every Monday to Thursday after school where you can get help with your homework and any other support that you need. Round the side is the entrance to our medical centre, which is where you'll go if you are feeling unwell. Once school is finished, you'll leave the site either by the front entrance if you're waiting for a bus or by the side of the leisure centre. If you have a bike, you must walk your bike until you are clear of the school site, being aware of pedestrians and younger students from our local primary schools. For your safety, please remember helmets, reflective clothing and in the darker months, lights. At the end of the path is the entrance to the leisure centre, which we use for some PE lessons during the day. You need to have membership to use the leisure centre at other times. We entered the school through the student entrance and on our right is the B block, where we have six classrooms upstairs. 
Our school library will be located here from September. All of the subject classrooms are grouped together and allocated a letter so that you know what part of the school the class is in. For example, E5 is in the English block. We then have the Design and Technology Department, where you can see some of the excellent work that students have produced. Next is the Computing block, where our computing suites are located. Following the computing block is the food technology area. This houses the kitchens where you'll be able to learn new cooking techniques and skills. Sweeping around the building in front of you are the art and photography studios. On the right hand side we have the Humanities Building. This is where history, geography and modern foreign languages are situated. In front of you, we have one of our many outdoor seating areas. The red doors on the right lead to the Year 7 office where myself and Miss Lamana are located. This area is known as the sales and is undercover. Through the trees is our PE area. We also use the leisure centre and gym for some lessons. Here is our fantastic canteen where you can purchase hot and cold food. We use a cashless fingerprint system to pay for food, so your account can be topped up online or will be preloaded if you're entitled to free school meals. Behind the canteen is the music department, which you can see is well equipped and they team up every year with our drama department for the amazing productions. On the right, we have one of the entrances to the science block. Next up, we have the Media Resource Centre. These doors are another entrance to the canteen and also lead to the ground floor of the mass block. This path leads to the Drama and English block. If you have older siblings at Bournemouth, you might have attended one of the excellent productions and I will be encouraging you to take part in this fantastic opportunity during your first term at Bournemouth. This is the English department and the classrooms span over three floors.
We then move on to the maths department. We are now going to walk towards the tennis courts and on the way you'll see another outdoor social area where you can come and eat or socialise with friends. We also have two table tennis tables for you to play on. Next you can see the tennis courts and field which is available at break and lunch. We also have basketball courts for you to play on. At lunchtime, you'll be able to play on goals. You have to book a pitch in advance with the duty member of staff for the next day. You can have up to 12 students on each pitch. Next, we're going to have a closer look at the Leisure Centre. Some of your PE lessons will take place here and your teacher will tell you in advance so that you know. You will access the Leisure Centre through the bike exit mentioned earlier and your teacher will meet you there. The Leisure Centre is also open to the public and we have a separate entrance and changing rooms. We're lucky to have access to a 25 metre swimming pool and a fantastic sports hall. We are also able to use this facility for the after school clubs. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. I really look forward to meeting you all on the transition days in June and starting with your journey in September.